Rasty McGibbon with head coach of Lake Superior State, Matt Parker. Matt, thanks for coming on. Uh, congratulations on making it to the national tournament. Um, this is year two for your program, is that right? Yes, correct. Tell, tell me a little bit about uh, forming a women's hockey team in the throes of COVID. Uh, it was awesome. Um, so we started June of 2020. Um, we're a nearly fully funded program from our university. Uh, we started this, like I said, June of 2020, got a team together. I was able to recruit about 19 girls. Um, obviously, as everybody's well aware of, you know, we didn't get that first semester in like we hoped. Uh, we got the second semester in, didn't win a game. Um, I spent that year recruiting, I spent the summer recruiting, um, went out, went to a lot of places across the country, made a lot of phone calls, um, brought in 23 freshmen, a couple sophomores, a couple transfers, um, and was able to put together a great recruiting class um, that's helped out with us obviously so far getting to the point we are this season. Having never been at a national tournament before, how um, are you able to motivate your girls to get them to buy in to come to something that no one has any experience at? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, it's such an experience, like you say. It's been great. Uh, we live by um, live in the moment, enjoy the moment. Um, we unfortunately lost a player at the beginning of the year to a tragic car accident. So that's really kind of been our push this year is to play for her. Um, and understanding that life's very short, things can change in a minute. So we enjoy every minute that we have here. We enjoy every minute of this experience. It's about a 14-hour bus ride for us. So um, it was one of our better bonding trips. Um, and it's been one of our better bonding trips. But um, an experience like this coming here, coming to a national championship, being a second year team representing our school, you know, being in the UP, being a hockey town, you know, our school's built on hockey. Uh, this experience has been one that I will remember for the rest of my life that I believe a lot of these women will as well. Talk to me a little bit about the level of support that you get from your school. Amazing. Um, all the way from our administration from the top down, um, Damon Wynn on our NCAA Division One men's team, huge support, administration's a massive support. We've been able to accomplish these goals purely through the support of our university. Um, we are in a lot better standing in some of these other schools, the support that we do get, uh, and the, the help in everything from the ice time, from the practice, we're on the ice four days a week. Our girls have a locker room um, in the rink, on rinks on campus. We get to practice around our men's division one team. So from our men's D1 team and their head coach Witt and his staff, uh, to our all the support with our rink rats in the back, helping make sure everything's ready to ice, everything like that. In the university, the university, to get into a program at a school that's been around for 75 years, that if you're in the hockey world, you understand Lake State and the hockey that Lake State has. And to, I was born and raised in the Sioux, so to be able to get in and start this women's program in a school that I was born and raised in, and get the support that we have from the school and be the first women's program, it's a dream come true. It's been amazing. As a coach, you know, there you, you, you do wear a bit of the hat of the modulator between um, academic life and hockey life. Um, with these uh, student athletes, how 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 do you balance that? Uh, so we actually have a we have some requirements. We follow a lot of our NCAA requirements in regards to GPA and study hall hours. Our girls have to maintain a 2.5 GPA and they have to maintain four hours a week in study hall. So coming on trips like this is definitely a learning experience. But one of the biggest things, like I tell all my girls, unfortunately in the world of women's hockey, hopefully it's getting bigger. You know the news of today with the leagues trying to form where there may be some opportunities later on in life for these girls to play more competitive hockey. But at this point in time in the real world, that the chance of the majority of them getting to go play isn't great, so they're gonna graduate. We're gonna be students before we're athletes, which is why we harp, you know, we harp on the fact that you're not an athletic student, you're a student athlete. Uh, so we, we maintain that pretty well. I have a great GPA, cumulative GPA within my girls, um, and I have a great group of girls that are very studious in what they do. And, just getting to learn the time management, which is why we implement that four point that four hours a week of study hall. Coming in as a freshman, you get to learn that real quick. Where it's not three hours and fifty eight minutes, it's not three hours and fifty nine minutes. It's four hours. If you don't get your four hours in, you're likely not dressed in a game, and you're likely not traveling. So we hammer it home pretty quickly and pretty pretty early on in our program that you're here to be a student first, and hockey's a privilege. You know, with a with a fairly young program, as you've alluded to. And you've also alluded to the fact that the girls are, are going to likely go on to life and not to hockey. What are, what are some lessons that you as a person would want them to take away from time in your program? Uh, quality of character. Quality of character is something that I say a lot within my group. Um, you got to be a good person. I believe in karma. I believe karma is a very real thing. And when you can be 
a good person genuinely. Uh, me as a coach, I push my girls very hard. I push them to their limits. And when you can get good quality people that are just genuinely good characters, I think it's very easy and I think you get the bounces and I think you get the benefits in life and I think life treats you better when you're a good quality person and probably that's the biggest thing that I do my best for my girls to take away from me that I say to all of them is the day you come here and the day you leave here, you will be a better person after you graduate from Lake State and being a part of my program. Having been at this national tournament, when you go back, how will you use this experience in terms of recruiting? Oh, it's, I got 14 incoming freshmen right now as we stand, and uh, recruiting with this has been, um, it's been self-propelling. Self um, my girls have been able to do it with the way that our season's been, has put our program on a national level where we've never been. I think we've probably opened up a lot of eyes to what are these folks doing in the UP, um, which is what I wanted to do. You know, it's what I told Taylor and this crew when we started this program that I wanted to develop one of the best women's college hockey programs in ACHA at Lake Superior State. Um, and that's my goal. I want to be a premier destination. When people talk about Liberty and Maryville and Lindenwood and Arizona State and some of these premier schools, um, we're going to be in the same breath. And I want Lake State to be in the same breath when people talk about those programs. So I do my best to operate the best that we can in the most professional way that we can. And you know, moving forward, that's something that I hope that we will become a premier destination for women's hockey in the ACHA. Well, hey, congratulations on making it to the national tournament in your second there. That's a huge accomplishment. Best of luck down the stretch. Thank you so much. Matt Parker from Lake Superior State. Thank you.